go Marianne and Joe Underlow. Couple number three sliced their wedding cake 22 months ago, Donna and Rick Hodges. And couple number four traded bows 12 months ago, Katie and Ray Hutchison. And now, here's the star of the newlywed game, Bob Eubanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the newlywed game. We're glad you could join us today. Oh, let's say hi. Hello, couples. How are you? Hi. You ready to play this game? Yes. yes. Well, we're going to start off by asking the husband some questions, but in order to do that, we must ask the ladies to go off to our soundproof room. So will you do that for me, please? And while the ladies are leaving, I'd like to remind our husbands, I'll be asking you some five-point questions. You'll be answering these questions as you predict your wife will answer the same question when she returns. And remember, if her answer matches your prediction, you get five points. One couple with the most points at the end of the show wins a great second honeymoon. So, gentlemen, if you are ready, here's your first question for five points. The last time you were in the laundry room of love, will your wife say she wishes there had been more cheering, shouting, or bouncing? <laughs> you get it, folks? Yeah. Oh, right? uh, bouncing, Bob. Bouncing, Bob. All right. <laughs> I have the same request. That's okay. Rick. It was bouncing. There wasn't a lot of bounce the last time. There wasn't much bounce going last time. No, no. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, but it usually is. Not as sorry as you are, but I'm sorry. Joe? I'd have to say bouncing. Bouncing? Yeah. She wishes there were more bouncing. Yeah. Tommy, would it be more cheering, shouting, or bouncing? I'd say bouncing, just because there's plenty of shouting and cheering, so that that's no question. She cheers for you. Well, uh, yeah, both ways. Oh, I see, okay. Next question, gentlemen. What will your wife say was the last finger food that you ate at home? Rick? Chicken. Chicken? Chicken. Good. Yes. Joe? I'd say tacos. I keep tacos! It. Okay. Uh, Tommy? Quesadillas. Quesadilla? Quesadillas. Mexican. She likes oh, that. no, I understand. Yeah. Oh, I get that part. <laughs> <laughs> I, this is not my first barbecue, Tommy. Right. Uh, peanut butter crackers. Peanut butter crackers? Crackers. All right, fine. Uh, next question, gentlemen. How will your wife say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking. Some women once got great satisfaction from burning their bras. But I'd be more than happy if I could just burn my wife's what? Joe? Uh, shoes. Shoes. She just has too many. Okay, Tommy? <laughs> say boxer shorts. You want to burn her boxer, boxer shorts? Boxer shorts, yeah. She she takes mine, which are kind of used already. So she, then she'll she'll take them. So I don't like her taking mine. You know, it's no, I don't know. That's <laughs> okay. okay. So you'd be more than happy if you could burn your wife's boxer, boxer shorts. shorts. Fine, Ray. Her old t-shirt. Her she old wears, t-shirt. She wears it to bed every night. Same old darn t-shirt. It's gotta go. But anything on it? No, it's just it's an old t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Rick. I like to burn her pictures. <laughs> her picture? <laughs> yeah. Oh, good luck with that one. Okay, <laughs> gentlemen, we'll be right back to reunite the newlyweds, and we'll see how well our husbands have predicted what their wives will say right after these messages. This. And welcome back to the newlyweds game, gentlemen. We've recorded your predictions on cards, and now have them flat on your laps. Each time that your prediction matches your wife's answer, you get five points, and it's the one couple with the most points at the end of the show that wins that great second honeymoon. So, ladies. If you're ready, here's our first five-point question. Tell me, the last time that you were in the laundry room of love, do you wish there had been more bouncing, shouting, or cheering? Wendy? Bouncing. More bouncing? Yes. There's not much bouncing in not your... Not enough bouncing. He's just a little steady. Too steady. I need a lot more bouncing. You need more, more bouncing. More action. More action. More action. More oh, bouncing. More bouncing. Yeah, is he not romantic? Oh, he's romantic. He just doesn't bounce. He's not wild enough. Oh, he's not wild yeah, enough? No, he's a bouncy. Well, what, what do you think we can do to make him wild? <laughs> not we, you. <laughs> what can I do? Yes. I don't think I want to know the answer to that question. <laughs> Tommy said uh, that you wish there had been more card for me, please, Tom. Yeah, bouncy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tom, get wild. Get wild. No, the lady wants you to be wild. Okay, Marianne? I'd say cherry. Cherry, yeah. Because he's really quiet. <laughs> oh, and you want him to be a little noisier. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. Just okay, noisier. Joe said that you wish there were more bouncing. Uh, we can't be louder. You know that. Why can't you be louder? We got, well, we have 
four, it's a four bedroom home, but the third bedroom over is her mother, so. Oh. We can't be louder. <laughs> Donna, Donna, in the laundry room of love, do you wish there had been more bouncing, shouting, or cheering? I would have to say cheering. Cheering. Yeah, he's, he's pretty quiet. He's a quiet lover. He's a quiet lover? Yeah. Okay. Now, he said that you wish there had been more, card for me, please, more bouncing. Bouncing? Yeah. It wasn't a lot of bounce the last time. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? Think, I didn't think it was a lot of, it wasn't a lot of bounce the whole, the last time. Uh, <laughs> we were in the laundry room of love. Oh, he's right. Huh. Katie. Okay. I would say bouncing. Bouncing. Yeah, I'm not, uh, not cheering and shouting, but bouncing's good. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> Ray predicted you would say bouncing. Yeah. <laughs> Next question, ladies. Ladies, what was, the, what was the last finger food your husband ate at home? Marianne? Last finger food he ate at home? Um, sandwiches. Pardon me? I'm going to say sandwiches. What kind of sandwich? Finger sandwiches. What kind would that be? Uh, ham. Ham sandwich, okay. Joe predicted the last finger food he ate at home you was them tacos. Yourself? They were tacos. Tacos. Oh. <laughs> you want me to ask the judge? No, never mind. Donna? <laughs> um... Cheese and crackers. Cheese and crackers. He predicted you would say the last finger food he had at home was chicken. Oh, uh, chicken. Well, I, can't. I had chicken with Kentucky Fried. Oh, that's right. Katie. Peanut butter crackers. Peanut butter crackers. Yeah. He thought you would say the <laughs> last finger food he had at home was peanut butter crackers. Yes, you got it. <laughs> Bobby, glad this question's over. So, Wendy. Uh, I would have to say chips and salsa. Chips and salsa. Yes. No, that's not what he said. He, <sighs> he said the last finger food he had at home, quesadillas. That's not oh, the last Mexican. food you had. God, every time I look at you, you eating chips and salsa. I know, I know. I just remember quesadillas. What did I just from buy for you? Chips and salsa. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I had the Mexican. <laughs> what a dork. Oh, wow. <laughs> We're only into two questions, and so far you're not I'm wild enough and you're a dork. I <laughs> don't <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Next thing she's going to say is you need a haircut. Oh, man, I know. <laughs> I know. Gee whips. Let's try another question, see if we can do better. Next question, ladies. How did your husband complete this sentence? This is him talking. He said, some women once got great satisfaction from burning their bras, but I'd be more than happy if I could just burn my wife's what? He'd like to burn your what, Donna? Makeup. Makeup. He said he would love to burn your picture. <laughs> You have so many. You have so many. Katie. My shoes. Your shoes. I have so many, and they're the oldest t shirts Okay, he said he would love to burn your old T-shirt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Every single night, it's the same T-shirt. It's got a big old stain on it. I'm like, okay. Does she ever go. wash it? Uh, yeah, yeah but it's on a regular basis, but it's old. Oh. <laughs> Don't knock old, okay? <laughs> yeah. Wendy, he, he said... He would be more than happy if he could just burn your what? I would say my boxers. Your what? My boxers. You wear boxers? I well, they're comfy. I don't I, think so. I well. They don't I, give you support. The, well, that's what's good. They're loose. They're baggy. They're comfy. You mean they give you support and they don't give me support? They Is that give, it? Kind of. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. They work. Tommy they work. said it would be uh, your boxers. I, yeah. I, my pictures your pictures all right he said he'd be more than happy if he could just burn your shoes okay we'll be right back to see how well the wives can predict what their husbands will say right after these messages your husbands are secluded off stage it's your turn to predict what they will say and remember these questions so oh, these are the big ones these are worth 10 points can you believe that a 10 point question here it is ladies what is it about your husband in bed lately that he will say makes you think of an eskimo is it his cold hands his cold feet his cold nose or his cold attitude donna i would have to say his cold attitude his cold attitude yeah 
Oh, we got a little changing to do here. Well, and you know, he works a lot and no uh, excuse. No excuse. You're it's right. actually no excuse. Okay, but, very yeah. I'm going to have to say it's cold attitude as well. He's got a cold attitude. Yeah, he's been working a lot and coming home late and just tired. Still no excuse. <laughs> yeah. Wendy, is it his cold hands, feet, nose, or attitude? It's his cold attitude. He's got a cold attitude? He does. He climbs into bed and just turns around on the other side, and I see the back of his head, the back of his face. I mean, his, well, the back of his head, back no of his hair. Face. <laughs> back of him, yeah. He just, he's been really bad lately. Really? Really. Huh. Horrible. Sorry to hear that. Katie. His cold feet. Cold feet. <laughs> They're just freezing. Freezing feet. We get into bed and they'll try to push him over on me to warm him up. Okay. <laughs> Next question, ladies. Other than you, whose likeness will your husband say he would most like to have on an inflatable doll? That is, if he were into that sort of a thing. First names only, please. <laughs> Marianne, whose likeness would that be? First name only, please. Uh, Selena. Selena. Okay. Wendy? Beth. Oh, Beth. Beth. Katie. Michelle. Michelle. And Donna. Tyra. Tyra. <laughs> yeah. He loves Tyra. <laughs> what does he love about Tyra? Uh, the inflatable part of Tyra. <laughs> oh. You ask or you shall receive. <laughs> Next question, ladies. How will your husband say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking. My husband thinks that his blank is one of a kind, but the truth is, if you've seen one, you've seen them all. Wendy. His head. His head. He thinks because he shaved his head, it's the most good-looking head in the world. That's, yes, his head. Do you like it, Shave? Yeah, it's cute. Yeah. It's cute. It works. It, it works. works? It works. Okay. Doesn't look like a roll-on deodorant top or it anything like, like that. It looks like a weevil. It looks like a weevil or Mr. Clean. Yeah, Mr. Clean. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Okay, Katie? His eyes. His eyes. I, I told him when we met that he had the most wonderful eyes. So whenever he's in trouble, he just thinks he can, like, look at me a certain way. And Give me those eyes. Yeah. See one, see more, huh? <laughs> Donna. I have to say his lips. His lips? Yes. He has a great pair of lips. <coughs> he does. Big lips. And okay. I, that was the first thing I was attracted to. All right. It's his lips. Marianne? I'm going to say his smile. His smile. Yeah, I could be yelling at him and he'll be there smiling. Away. All right. 25 point bonus question. Ladies, what will your husband say? Is your favorite perfume? Your answers must match exactly. Your favorite perfume, Katie? Isa Tis. Pardon me? <laughs> Isa Tis. Sure, I knew that, Donna. Uh, Giorgio. Giorgio. Mm -hmm. Marianne? Dune. June. Dune. Oh, with Dune. the D. Okay. <laughs> cool water. Cool water. All right, ladies, cool thank you very much. We'll be back with the husbands to compare answers on the newly red game. See how well your wives have predicted what you will say. Remember, these questions are all worth 10 points. So here's our first one. Gentlemen, what is it about you in bed lately that makes your wife think of an Eskimo? Is it your cold attitude, your cold hands, your cold feet, or your cold nose? Joe? I'd have to say my cold nose. Your cold nose? My cold nose. Oh, okay. She said for sure. Hey, it's your cold attitude, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Cold attitude. <laughs> yeah. Rick. Attitude. I'm asleep most times before she can even get out the shower, so. <laughs> Why are you laughing about that? <laughs> <laughs> because I have to, otherwise she'd kill me. <laughs> oh. Why are you laughing about that? <laughs> Donna said it is your cold attitude. Yeah. Ray, is it your cold attitude, your cold hands, your cold feet, your cold nose? I'd say my attitude, but it's I'm just joking around, and she always takes it the wrong way. I'm like, you got a cold oh. attitude, all right? She yeah. said you've definitely got cold feet, pal. Cold feet. Cold You're feet. the one to stick them over on You're the one with cold feet. Well, do you not ask about me? No. <laughs> That's you. I'm not interested in her cold feet. What do you think, Tom? I think cold attitude. You got a cold attitude? Cold attitude. It's She'll be in the shower, she'll come out, I'll be totally asleep. So there's probably even no attitude, but a cold attitude would definitely be wow. right up the alley. Uh, this is a serious problem, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Wendy predicted you would say, it's your cold attitude. Yeah. Uh, how, how are you going to be wild and all that, Tom, if you're oh, asleep? Oh, man, i, I got to start getting up later. I get up real early, and it's tough. So yeah, okay. i got more sleep, or, you know, 
No, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, other than your wife, think about this now. Other than your wife, whose likeness would you most like to have on an inflatable doll if you were into that sort of thing? Give me a first name only, please. Rick, what do you think? Jada. <laughs> she predicted, uh, she thought you'd say uh, Tyra. What is inflatable about Jada? Okay, right. You always, you have calendars and Tyra and everything. You love Tyra. I don't know, you love you Jada love too. <laughs> Ray. Um, her friend Diane, I guess. Her friend Diane? Yeah. You'd like to see Diane on an inflatable doll? If I had Something to pick anybody else. Well, Diane. isn't that wonderful? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that sweet? All right. Uh, your wife predicted you would say uh, Michelle. Michelle. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, Michelle. <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> Better than Diane. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Tommy. Uh, let's see. I'd probably have to say Pamela. <laughs> <laughs> Pamela? You want to see her on an inflatable doll? <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see, uh... <laughs> let, Tommy, let me ask you a question, okay? Let me set a scenario for yes. you. You're in a room with Pamela. She's in the shower. Are you going to be asleep when she comes out? I better be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're not asleep, you better be dead. Oh, my <laughs> Your wife thought you would say, on the inflatable dog goes Beth. Pamela, what the flying does she have? I don't have. Hello? Would you, uh, Wendy, would you repeat that question? No. Joe. <laughs> Selena. Not the Selena, the one that was played as her, but the original Selena. Uh, your wife predicted you would say it would be Selena. Yes. Okay. Here's the last of our 10 point questions. Now, gentlemen, how did your wife complete this sentence? This is her talking. She said, My husband thinks that his blank is one of a kind. But the truth is, if you've seen one, you've seen them all. <laughs> Ray, you think your blank is one of a kind? My feet. Your feet. All right. She said, you think that your eyes are eyes, one of a kind. Eyes, your smiley eyes. No. I Tommy. I'd have to say my head. What's about, what's about your head? The no hair look. You like it that way? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Do, do the women like it? Wendy does. Wendy, Wendy does. does. Yeah. Good answer. All right. When he predicted you would say, your head. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Joe? I would have to say my feet. Your feet? Yeah, she hates my feet. She doesn't right. take off my shoes. She just hates them. She said that uh, you think that your uh, smile is one of a kind, but if you see one, see them all. Like. No. Oh, my. Like hey, Rick, what do you answer? think about this one? My lips. Your lips? <laughs> She loves my lips. That's she what does. she tells me. Yeah. All right. She predicted you would say, it's your lips. You got it. Before we get to our 25-point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going on their second honeymoon. John? You're going on a Vermont ski trip. A week of fun at Smuggler's Notch, America's family ski resort. Ski three mountain peaks are just snuggled together near the cozy lodge fire. at Smuggler's Notch. A winter fun second honeymoon. There you go, Bob. Thank you, Kramer, very much. All right, 25-point bonus question. Here it comes, gentlemen. What is your wife's favorite perfume? And your answers must match exactly. Please keep that in mind. Couple number two, Joe and Marianne with 10. 25 will give you 35. Joe, take over the lead with the correct answer. Your wife's favorite perfume? Passion. Passion. She predicted you would say it is Dune. Couple number four, Ray and Katie with 10, 25 gives you 35. Same situation, get it right, you're in first place. It's my favorite too, Isatis. Isatis, you said Isatis, yes, you got it. All right, couple number three, Rick and Donna with 20, 25 gives you 45. Rick, if you get it right, you're going to be in first place. White diamonds. White diamonds, she said, no, it's uh, Giorgio, Giorgio. All right, couple number one, Tommy and Wendy, you have 30. 25 will give you 55. Tom, if you get it right, you and your wife are on your way to a fabulous skiing vacation in Vermont. What is your answer? I'd say cool water. Cool water. She said, cool water, yeah! Tommy and Wendy, you are really like the grand prize winners. Well, thanks to all of our couples. Most of all, thanks to you. I'm Bob. You thanks. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.